At the young age of 20, Chris Hill was, uh, of Yukon was charged with negligent homicide. His weapon of choice? A cell phone. But he's working to turn his life around now. Doug Warner shows us how he's keeping others from driving while intoxicated. September 3rd, 2008. It's a day Oklahoma sports fans spent celebrating the birth and the look of our brand new NBA team. In his words, I didn't even see the red light. However, at about that same time, on the other side of Oklahoma City. He seems so young. He was such a young kid. And now he's going to have to live with that the rest of his life. There was no celebration. Only a young man's life changing forever. I was screaming. Witnesses were coming up, holding me up because I just couldn't handle it. I knew what had happened. You knew right then? I knew right then that I just killed her. Those four words, I had killed her. It's not easy for 21-year-old Chris Hill to say or even admit to. In fact, at one point, he even changed his mind about doing this on-camera interview. That was until he realized his message far outweighed the grief he's left with every time he shares the worst moment of his life. Chris had only been on the road and on the phone for less than a minute. The second I collided with her, um, there was a horn going off. And I kept yelling, ma'am, ma'am, and tapping her, and she didn't move. I couldn't hardly even write the police report. I mean, my hand was just shaking so bad. Chris's red truck struck Linda Doyle's SUV in the driver's door, and in those few seconds... The only thing that kept going through my head was just hitting her and hitting her. He was sentenced to a life of nonstop guilt and endless images. You know, just seeing her laying over sideways in her car when I got out of my truck, I mean, that's something that never leaves my head. To try and warn others before it's too late.